beautiful day here in Louisiana after about a, two weeks of rain. Not a cloud in the sky, man. It's pretty. It's cool. Good fly tying weather. So, I ordered some uh, grubs. These little, uh, these little grubs. I tried to find maggot size, like maggot size little grubs, and I can't find none. There's people selling them on Amazon, Etsy, where they and, and eBay, where they're they're using a mold, making their own little half inch grubs. But they they sell them with hooks for like a dozen of them for like twenty, anything from like fifteen to twenty bucks. I don't want that. I want just a little grub. But it is what it is. So when I did it. I took these. These are the smallest size I could find. I took these and I uh, I'm cutting them in half. So I end up end up with 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 two little two little pieces like that All right two little pieces like this I'm using a size 10 hook a curved hook I like the um, Mustang Mustang Sally I can't help myself uh, anyway I am um, using these I'm using different color little beads. If you're ever curious when you see these beads packs like that and you're curious like which size fit the hooks, usually on the back it's got the little recommendation for the hook size. So that one says 10 to 12. So you know these will work on those 10 hooks. So I already got the hook on there. Sometimes sometime when you're putting these beads on, it won't fit around the end of the shank, right? So you take some pliers. Take some pliers, stretch them out just a little bit, and a bead will uh, slip on, then stretch it back. Most worms have got like that that green guts inside of them, so I'm using green green string, a green thread, shall I say? Somebody, I'm just going a little bit behind the hook. The hook point, working it back. Put just enough thread on the front right there to hold the bead. There you go. Not too much because the, the the silicone body is going to hold the bead. Two, three, four, five. Put about five good wraps on it. Pull it tight. Go ahead and cut off the excess. Put the excess off the back. So that's what you got. You just got the thread and the bead. And um, you know, that's that's the body of it right there. Now, to put the grub on, you're going to, have to take it off. I take the grub. And the grub, the grub's got like a natural curve to it. You see how it's going like that? So you want it to follow that with the shank. my big nubby fingers it makes it difficult try not to hook yourself <laughs> you're just getting it on there like that I usually just put a little super glue right there and just push it on up to the sink the thread the super glue on the thread will hold the grub body so what you're looking at, you're looking at like a little half fat grub, a little grub body. Get that on there a little bit better, like that. So that's what you're looking at, a little grub, a grub body. This time of years when all the, the flies start hatching and bugs start hatching in spring, and then you know you got grubs everywhere. That's a little grub. You can also use a whole grub. If you get a bigger long shank hook, you just put the whole grub on it on there. But I like these because it, it seems like the bluegills go after this more. It looks like a little creepy crawly. Very simple, very easy to make. Effective for bluegills. Uh, exactly like these two. I like the uh, bigger size one. 
Same thing. I got the, I got the, this is a size eight hook. It's going to put on the thread base. Yeah, to about the hook point. Go up to the front. There we go. Because the only thing thread's going to do is, is hold it on there. Five whips, tighten it down, cut off the excess. So you're looking at that. I'm taking one of the full size grubs. Yeah, I'm cutting. I'm cutting about uh, uh about two ribs back. There you go. So I'm looking. Ooh, I almost lost it. All right, so let's take this off. All right. Same routine. Gonna work the hook. Don't hook yourself. I've done that. It ain't no fun. All right. I'm gonna leave about. I'm gonna leave a little bit exposed. Super glue it. Push it up. You're looking at that. That's a fat grub. I guarantee you a big old bluegill eat that. If you don't mess with little small fish, get that. Bass and a catfish should hit that too. So that's what you're looking at. Big version. Smaller version. They'll catch fish.